the lower fox empties into Green Bay. Despite all the problems delivered to it by the fox, the bay is still a significant resource. To the Merritt brothers, it means their livelihood. They are perch fishermen. Each weekday at 7 a.m., they make the trip from downtown Green Bay out to their nets. Since 1917, this has been the daily routine for Frank Merrick. Today, his nephew Bob is in charge of the fishing operation. Now I'm already looking forward to going out in the bay tomorrow. Because I know we've got 18 nets out there that should have fish. So you're, you look forward to going out there and, and see them. It, it's just uh, it's a challenge. There are more than 50 commercial perch fishermen licensed on Green Bay, but only a handful are full-time operators. The Merrick family has been in business since the 1890s. This was my life's work. That's all I ever knew, you know, was commercial fishing. Well, well, ever since my, uh, my grandfather started fishing, my, and my, my father uh, fished, fished too, and that's, that's, that's how I got started. I, I started the making the nets, you know, for them. And that's how I, how I got started. The Marricks net an average of 2,500 pounds of fish each day. The catch includes lawyers, bullheads, and other species, but the most important fish is perch. A good day will produce 500 pounds of perch big enough to keep. My job is to run the fishing end of the business. Run the boat, keep track of the nets out in the bay, make sure there's gas for the boat, stuff like that. You keep working at it, it's such a job. You gotta, you gotta keep following the fish. No regrets about the business, about the fishing end of it, that is. Because of pollution, competition from alewives, and increased fishing pressure, the perch catch from the bay is down from an annual two and three million pounds in the early 1960s to about half a million pounds in the mid-70s. The Department of Natural Resources is considering new rules to increase the perch population. The Merricks feel that too many regulations may make it unprofitable for commercial fishermen to continue. There are only problems with DNR, whether we're gonna be able to stay in business or not. That's, that's, our, that's our problem. We can, as far as nature, she'll always provide out there. DNR will take away. <laughs> that's as simple as that. What makes the Marricks business especially unusual is that most of their catch is sold in their own tavern, which they've operated since 1960. Fish is served each Wednesday and Friday night. Members of the family take care of the dining room, and the kitchen. In addition to his job on the boat, Bob is also the cook. It's a long day. Like today, it's a long day. You know, I come in at five and work till two. Wouldn't trade it. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little tired of lack of sleep, but I wouldn't give it up. I, not if I can help it. In this tavern right here last month, over 6,000 orders of fish we sold, plus with the fish that we sold to other taverns. So there's lots of people eat fish. Friday night perch dinner is a social institution in Green Bay, second only to Packer football games. The Marricks attract their share of the market, about eight or 900 customers each Friday, with a varied menu and low prices. Two dollars will get you an order of three fish, bread, and a couple of beers. The crowd keeps Bob's brother Jim busy behind the bar almost every night. By day, he takes care of processing and selling the fish. My end, this is when they come in to uh, see that they're taken uh, care of and iced and uh, filleted and dressed out. And uh, 
put some away for the winter and know when to and when to not. Past seven, eight years, ever since the water quality has been improving, uh, the fish have been coming back on their own. It's been improving right along. This year we are on our way to a, probably one of the best years we've had in the past 20 years. Each week, the Merricks clean and fillet about 900 pounds of perch. Any surplus goes to a fish wholesaler for about two and a half dollars a pound. The feed uh, is, is more uh, abundant for the, for the fish, which is probably the most important thing. We haven't seen any green bay uh, flies at all, but we see an awful lot of snails, small soft shell snails, which the fish are eating on at this time. That's probably why they're they're so healthy looking. Any uh, fish eater from around here, a good perch eater, uh, you can't fool them with bringing in a fish from another area. We still have the best quality uh, perch there is uh, in the world as far as that goes. And uh, no way will you fool them by bringing in a Lake Huron, a Lake Superior, or a Lake Erie, or even a Lake Michigan perch. There's that much difference in the quality of the fish and uh, in the taste. Well, it's giving the public something they really want. When you see hundreds of people wanting your product, it's, uh, it's a good sign you're doing a good job. There's a lot of satisfaction in that. There's always something going on on the boat. It seems, I don't know, it's just an all-around enjoyment. It's, to me, anyway. It's, I don't even consider it work, really. And it is hard work, but to me, it's the best job there is.